What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing guys? Let's get into the news. The best selling phone of April 2018 was after a long line of iPhone winning has now there's a new king of the mountain and it's the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. It's the best selling phone in the world right now. Those two phones um, in versus in the number three, you're looking at iPhone or number two, whatever you want to call it. iPhone X, iPhone 10, and then you're looking at iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 8. Uh, so really cool for Samsung to finally get the number one spot after so many months. It's not that surprising, especially with uh, the Samsung phone being a newer phone and then the iPhone being, you know, almost almost a year old, I guess, yeah? Eight months, nine months, it's definitely getting old uh, for phone terms. And then still in the top 10, this was shocking, was the iPhone 6. Who is still buying the iPhone 6? That is ridiculous. I would never uh, suggest anyone to buy the iPhone 6. I mean, maybe if you're like super low budget and you don't have any money, but I don't know, I, still, I don't know if I'd have you do it. It's such an old phone. Um, yeah, that was really, that was more surprising to me than uh, Galaxy S9, S9 Plus coming on top. I don't know, what do you guys think? And the last story of the day comes from Ice Universe, who is a leaker, a lot of Samsung leaks, and he's leaked a case of the Galaxy Note 9. And the interesting thing about the case for the Galaxy Note 9 is where the fingerprint sensor is. You can see from this case you see on the back here, you're gonna see where you're gonna get the cameras, the sensors, the flash on the back, and then just Directly below that, you get your fingerprint sensor. Now, the fingerprint sensor um, looks to be kind of high up on the phone, especially when you compare it to where the fingerprint sensor is on the S9, S9 Plus, and on the Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL or other phones like that. So it still seems like it might be a little bit too high. Obviously, we'll have to get our hands on it to really make that final decision, but it is interesting. It does seem, it's like, it's, like I said, it's pretty high up and, uh, Another confirmation that the fingerprint sensor will not be underneath the display, but there was really at this point no, I, there was no reason to even think it would be. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, is that Galaxy Note 9 fingerprint sensor in the right location? Where would you like to have it? If it's not going to be underneath the display, where would you like to have it? Do you think it's in a good location there? Should it be further down on the back? Should it be on the power button? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. There's a lot of fights going on tonight, but by the time you see this, fights might be over. You get some boxing matches. Crawford and versus Horn and then you got a UFC pay-per-view check it out guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road. Peace